Ogni volta che un costruttore presenta Every time a builder presents a new engine, they declare it the best, the most innovative, revolutionary. This one really is. It's the new 350 horsepower Suzuki. È un motore con It's a 4390 cc 55 degree V6 engine. It has four valves per cylinder, double overhead camshaft and variable valve timing system. But these are not the only features that distinguish it from the competition. How did they get 80 horsepower per litre from this engine? The pistons are special because they have to withstand a 12 to 1 compression ratio. What are the challenges to overcome for such a compact engine? Having a lot of cool dry air in the chamber and also the perfect fuel mist. A small drop in the combustion chamber could cause immense damage, so they invented a system with pallets that remove moisture from the air. To atomize the gas, that is, to reduce it to small particles and distribute it better in the combustion chamber. For maximum efficiency, there are two injectors in each cylinder. But the real novelty is this, two counter-rotating propellers, very important for a big engine that wants to propel large boats. What are the advantages? Well, it's a bit like having a four-wheel drive. There's more traction, there's more thrust, so more efficiency, less regression. But we have two propellers. The power is distributed over six blades. But why hadn't this been thought of yet? Well, it's not that easy, because moving two propellers requires rather advanced technology that usually increases the torpedo size and adds resistance to the engine. Suzuki instead has doubled reduction ratio, and this allows you to have the gears here, under the water, very small, very slender, hydrodynamically efficient. Now, after all these words, do we want to see it in action? We are in Boca Raton, Florida. When driving such a powerful engine, obviously, we expect a very sporty performance. Here, we have two of them, but the boat is pretty big. It's 35 feet. It's the Scarab Offshore 35. Just think, this hull is 10.8 metres long, 3 metres wide and weighs nearly 4,000 kilos. Then you have to consider also the people, the equipment and the fuel. The capacity of the fuel tank is, in fact, more than 1,400 litres. The purpose of this mission is to discover the behaviour of these engines. Now that we know their characteristics, we want to know what their performances are. Let's leave the calm waters of this lagoon and head towards the ocean. I'll try out the joystick. I have to say, it gives a very pleasant feeling, even for someone who may not be used to manoeuvring with one. It immediately makes you confident. It can be used for manoeuvring and also for sailing at slow speeds. If you want more power, there is the boost command, which naturally pushes the engines at a higher speed and makes you manoeuvre more quickly. Having two counter-rotating propellers on the same axis also favours the precision of manoeuvring and reversing, because the rotation of one in one direction is cancelled from the other in the opposite direction. It's very simple. Oh, we're going out to sea. It's rather choppy. Well, given the conditions, I lower trim. They have raised these engines on the transom. But given that the water intakes are below the torpedo, it doesn't cause too many limitations. Raise them as you want them. It will make you go faster. The reduction ratio of these engines is 
and this means that they are always ready to push even very heavy, very large boats. It's a bit like having a low gear engaged in the car. And the other big advantage is that after just a bit of gas, you will immediately take off planing. So far, I have not even heard them. Now they start to sing. Let's take some data for reference. We're 3,000 RPM now, and we're consuming a total of 50 litres per hour. The speed is 20 knots. The Scarab is a boat with a very deep dead rise, 23 degrees. This means it will absorb a bit of energy, but also that it navigates very well over rough waters. 3,500 RPM. We passed 25 knots and consumption is 70 litres per hour total. Now the boat has a better trim. It has extended a bit on the water, it has lowered its nose and I feel that even the engines are working better. Just tap the lever to feel them surge forward. We are at 4,000 RPM, speed is 30 knots, magnificent, and the consumption 100 litres per hour. There is the variable valve timing system I told you. Hear that, huh? Change the phase, change the noise, change the speed. Mamma mia, that force. Well, for sure, we have six blades. Two counter-rotating propellers. It is crazy to feel how this propulsion system holds the route. The boat doesn't drift sideways, even though there is a lot of wind. But four propellers that push in all the same direction, compensating for effective rotation. Well, they make you stay on track. In the meantime, we have reached 5,000 RPM. We are at 39 knots and the consumption is 165 litres per hour. If at 5,000 RPM I give some more gas, what happens? They scream. We are bringing them to the max. We are at 6,200 revolutions per minute, 47 knots, 48. 222 litres an hour. But what a show. Now, however, how can I make you feel the difference that four propellers make compared to the two that usually equip a double installation like this? Well, I would say that maybe the acceleration, the departure, is the most interesting moment. Are you ready? One, two, three. Wow, <laughs> 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 knots. What have I put on? Nothing. Fantastic. When you have four propellers pushing you, the regression or the sliding of the propeller in the water is less and that's why it accelerates so readily. It's fantastic. It's a very pleasant feeling to have when the sea is choppy because you can accelerate if you want to avoid falling into the trough of a wave. You can slow down and the boat even slows down faster precisely because there are four propellers braking. In short, all of the reactions are a bit sporty 
but they allow you to ride better, to be a bit more of a pilot. And as a former pilot, I have to say that these Suzuki 350 outboards are really different from the others. They're really revolutionary. I think this is the engine of the present and perhaps the engine of the future, because we know that today the trend is to have even bigger boats with more and more powerful engines.